Yeah, Gary, this Easter Sunday hit harder than most for a couple of friends of Michael Bird, a 53-year-old hit by a car Friday night who later died. But they're not letting his memory go to waste. This Easter Sunday, Rick McKay and Tucker Melton are cleaning up this makeshift camp. This is the bag he had his clothes in right here. Right behind the Kroger on Cantrell and Little Rock where their friend Michael Bird lived. This is where he would sleep, is up in here. Bird was walking across the street Friday night when he was struck by a car. The driver stayed and talked to officers. Bird died. <laughs> I, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Melton says he met Bird a couple years ago, filling up at a gas station, and quickly, stereotypes fell away. All he wanted to do was talk. He didn't want any money. He didn't want anything. A few months later, Bird met McKay. Well, here's my number. If you need me, take down my number, put it in your phone or whatever, and call me. McKay says that sparked a friendship and an invite to church for Easter Sunday. He's got some clean clothes ever. Somebody gave him some clothes. And he goes, yeah, absolutely. Bird died before he could go. He spent right. Easter with Christ, yeah. you know? I mean, wow. He didn't get to go to New Life Church, but he's in heaven. McKay says he was comforted Sunday by a church friend who told him she'd had a vision about Bird. Bird put his hand in Jesus' hand, and she said, I just saw him go away, and that was the end of it. Cleaning up Bird's camp Sunday. We'll take that and put it in a trash bag. I don't have a trash bag. His friends know. He changed their lives. And everybody, you know, thinks, oh, it's just a, a homeless guy, but he really changed my, my heart around. And it being Easter Sunday, they hope he's traded this camp for a heavenly mansion. Someday, I'll see him again. So we'll see you soon, Bird. Bird's friends say they're helping his family with burial preparations. Live in studio, Andrew Epperson, KRK 4 News. Andrew, thank you. In Little Rock.